just make sure as you come to your comfortable seat that your hip joints are higher than your knee joint. And sit towards the front of your stack of blankets or whatever you're using block pillows so that your pelvis is kind of cascading forward and your hips are higher than your knees. This allows us to find the alignment in the spine. And if you feel like you would like to, you can close your eyes if that helps you to focus a little bit more inward and take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just centering into the space. And the theme of our class this morning is gratitude. So if you have brought some items into your practice space that help you to feel grateful for the privilege of incarnating into this body, you can open your eyes and look around at those things now. And just be very patient with yourself if you orient to why you feel grateful for these things. There are memories or thoughts or emotions that come from looking at these things. Then allow that. And take a moment to say to yourself, be quite intentful about this. I'm so lucky to be in this moment, in this body right now, about to practice yoga with my friends. I know there's so many things that are scary and uncertain right now, but we've created a sacred space morning around us with our sacred objects, um, with our intention to practice yoga together and all that means. And so today we're going to work on building a sense of gratitude for the privilege of being in this body, in this moment, in this place, in this time. And to help us with that, I might suggest that you bring your hands together at your heart in a prayerful gesture. And let's uh, bring some sound into this, some motion. So my suggestion is the inhale, open the arms, lift the sky. I exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. And we'll do that maybe three times while sharing the sound of OM. We've talked before about the sacred sound of OM, how it um, really is the basic sound of creation. And let's let this OM be the foundation of our practice today building our practice on this attitude of gratitude. When you're ready, inhaling, lifting the arms. Again. One more time. Maybe the chin bows delicately towards the heart. As you honor the place within you that experiences gratitude. Holding space open for feeling that appreciation for the breath of life. And as we come into movement, we may have a fairly vigorous class today, but as we come into movement, holding this sacredness, holding this gratitude for the physical body that carries you through the adventure of life. And we may run into some places in the body that have a few dents in the chassis but always trying to come from this place of appreciation, understanding, and even love. So let us share the teachings, my friends. Namaste. Okay, we're gonna come into a little bit of movement for the lower half of the body. So I'm just stretching my legs out. <clears throat> and inhale, fan the toes out. Exhale, collect the toes in towards the ball of the foot. I'm taking that for a couple breaths. You wanna be careful as you collect the toes into the ball of the foot. Sometimes you can get some foot cramps if you haven't moved a lot yet this morning. And after we do this for just one more breath, inhale, fan the toes out, exhale, collect them into the foot. 
inhale, point your toes away from you, and exhale, flex the ankles so the toes come back. And we'll do that for a couple breaths. Now, if you happen to have a block handy, you don't need it. But if you happen to have your block handy, we can use it here and just place it in between the, the uh, calves. As you inhale, roll the feet so the soles of the feet are facing each other more. And as you exhale, roll the feet so the soles are facing out to the sides. Now, with a block or something else to stabilize your shin bones, this movement will be concentrated more in your ankle joint. You can also put your fist in between, or two fists in between your shins to help stabilize the, the shin bones. Okay. And then let's, let's roll our ankle joints in a circle in one direction as we inhale, and roll our ankle joints in a circle in the other direction as we exhale, back and forth. And then let's come over onto hands and knees. I'm gonna use my blanket to cushion my knees because I'm on a hard part surface. I don't think any of our crowd this morning generally uses a chair for table pose, uh, but of course that's always an option in our classes. So coming to table pose, making sure there's lots of space between your uh, legs and your arms. And then when you're ready, inhale, we lift the leg, exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest back and forth a couple more times. And this is lower body movement. So there's no need to bob a lot with your head. And after we do three or four with this leg, let's switch to the other leg. to bring as much attention to detail as you can this morning as we truly honor the body as a vehicle of discovery. Coming back to table pose, perhaps bringing the legs a little closer together to give you a greater range of motion. Inhale, slide forward a little bit. Exhale, drop the hips to one side. Exhale, pull the hips back. And then inhale, pull them over to the other side. So moving in a big circle, slowly with each inhale and exhale. And after you've done three circles in one direction, let's change and reverse the directions and go the other way. Letting the lower half of your body really start to stretch out and receive lots of energy. Good. And then I'm going to fold my blanket again so I can sit comfortably in bound angle pose. I think I need another fold to my blanket today. So experimenting so that you can sit with your hip joints higher than your knee joints. And this might mean building up more height underneath your uh, sitting bones. You wanna be really aware of the sitting bones because we're gonna be moving on the blankets a little bit. So you need something stable. If you're using a really soft cushion, that might not work. A block would work great as well. And then we're gonna do a little bit of movement for the pelvis itself. So a lot of our energy, a lot of our ability to fully inhabit our body is stored in the lower part of the spine around the pelvis. So let's take a little rock forward on the pelvis, lift the chest, inhale. Rock to the left sitting bone, back to the sacrum, right sitting bone, and then inhale when you come forward again. So it's a slow roll around the whole pelvis floor of your spine. Time with your inhales as you lift the chest forward and your exhales as you move back. And you're in control of how much of this movement you do. Maybe we switch directions now. This might be you just imagine this movement. Or you might be doing something even more dramatic than what I'm doing. 
let the movement come up the spine naturally as you roll the pelvis. This can also be done, of course, with closed eyes if it helps you to focus a little bit more. You can also move the feet away from your body a little bit, opening up the angle of the knees if you need some more space. So adjust the seat so it's comfortable for you. And then let's do a little gentle forward fold action. So now the spine stays long. As you inhale, lift the chest up and exhale, angle forward slightly. And we'll move back and forth with your breath. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale, soft bow. And as you move back and forth, forward and back, you might find each time you exhale, you go a little bit more forward. We're not bouncing, of course, we're just gently bowing, bowing to the mystery of life. Bowing in our gratitude for having received this gift of life. Just one more breath here, good. And then I just have to readjust on my blanket. I'm a little wobblier than I like. We'll do a little side to side movement. So when you're ready, inhale and exhale, lean over to the side. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, bend to the other side. So just kind of really liberating the upper half of the body now from the foundation we've created with the pelvis, really coming into the full inhabitation of your spine. I'm going to go back to that first side that I started on and hold. I'm going to bend the top elbow, bring my hand to the back of my skull, just to create a little cradle there so that my head can really rest in the cradle I've created with my hand. So let your head hang heavy, support it with your arm, relax your jaw, your tongue muscle. You can look down at your knee if you want. One more nice deep breath here. And then support your head as you come back up. And we'll just take a break between sides, just one breath in and out. And then let's go to the second side. Inhale up, exhale into the stretch, bend the top elbow, cradle your head, let your head be heavy. Do you notice how much rigidity you're holding in the neck? And sometimes that's what happens, isn't it? That in our bodies, we might have a sense of gratitude, but then something happens on the way up to the head and it becomes rigid and it becomes judgmental and it becomes critical. So soften the neck, soften the jaw, soften the tongue. Take one more breath here. And then come back up. If you're okay to keep the legs like this for a couple seconds more, I want to just kind of combine some of those movements with a little vinyasa or a little breath-centered movement. So think about this as a breathing practice that takes the body along for a ride. So it's not so much the movement that you try to remember, was I supposed to inhale or exhale here? But it's more the, the, the breath leads the movement. So when you're ready, let's inhale, come up. And exhale, tuck this arm around behind your back and bow to the opposite knee. Inhale, come back up and twist over to the second knee and bow a little bit to that side. Try that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, tuck the arm behind the back as you bow to the first side. Inhale, arm comes up and we bow to the second side. Let's repeat that one more time. The movement reflecting your breath. Using the breath to weave all aspects of our experience so we can bring that gratitude to all parts of our body, even that critical judgmental mind. Come back to center. We'll take a breath between sides. And then when you're ready, inhaling the other arm, 
Exhale, tuck it behind the back. You bow to side one. Inhale. Same arm up and you bow to side two. Your own breath. With the intention of distributing the heart energy, which we often think of as where we experience gratitude, into all parts of the spine. And when you've completed that, come back to center, lift the legs up and straighten them out in front of you. You can still be sitting up on your blanket. You may also want a rolled blanket or a pillow underneath your knees so that your legs aren't completely straight here, especially if your low back feels tight in the morning. We're gonna go through a little bit of that same sort of pelvic movement with our legs straight now. So using your fingertips to help you brace if you need to, Start to roll to one sitting bone, roll back to the other sitting bone and lift the heart. So timing this with your breath. So as you come forward and the heart lifts, you're inhaling. And as you roll backwards, you're exhaling. And it's a very individual sort of movement. You might just be imagining the movement. And then reversing directions. Remember, this is more of a breathing practice and the body comes along to party, but it really isn't directing the practice. One more circular round of the pelvis, really getting that energy cooking. And then we'll come into the forward fold dynamically, just like we did with our knees bent. So again, the object is not to get all the way to the feet or grab a strap or anything, it's to bow. So bring that softness with you as you inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, bow gently forward. You're hinging right at the hips and then come back up. And if the knees are bent here, you have some support under your knees, that works great. And think about where the heart is going. Not so much your hands or your chin, but think about the heart reaching forward and bowing in gratitude towards the legs. Take one more breath. And then come back up to an upright spine. Let's do a little gentle twisting here. So inhale, nice and tall spine. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, nice tall spine. Exhale, twist to the other side. And we'll just do that two more breaths to each side. It's really making an effort here to sit upright, to be alert, to be present for your morning practice. We're taking that energy that we liberated from the pelvis and bringing it all the way up the spine. And then let's move into our side bending. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Both legs, both sitting bones, firm into your blankets or block, whatever you're using to support your tushy. Do one more breath to each side. Notice the tendency to rock in the pelvis. So try to ground into the earth as best as you can. Be grateful for that support. I'm going back to side one for me. So I'm gonna hold here, bend the elbow, cradle my head, and intentionally relax my jaw, relax the tongue, let the arms support the head, and try to soften through the throat and neck as much as you can. Just one more breath. and then return up as you inhale. Exhale, neutralize, and then we'll go to side two. Inhale, exhale, creating the cradle, relaxing on purpose. So 
so much beautiful acceptance, so much beautiful gratitude through the spine. And we can cut it off with neck tension, with judgment, with criticism. So let all that flow for one more breath. Go ahead, hang. And then come back up. And let's do one more leg position. Let's take your leg and move it out about 45 degrees from the first leg and then move the other leg out about 45 degrees. Now, when I look down, I'm hoping to see the kneecaps facing straight up, the toes facing straight up so that my legs are remaining neutral in the hip socket. They haven't rotated out, which is the common thing to happen. Let's gently come into those movements one more time. So inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, roll to the back of the sacrum and come forward again, inhaling the chest. These are the same pelvic rollings that you've done in the other leg position. We're just really exposing a lot more of that energy center now to our physical movement. And then reversing the direction. And again, you could be imagining these movements. You don't actually have to do them that dramatically in order to feel quite a dramatic effect. Beautiful. And then coming back to the center position, let's do a little bit of a forward fold. Again, this is a bowing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an honoring. It's not trying to get somewhere. So inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bowing forward gently. There's no job for the arms to do here. The legs remain in the same position, toes facing up to the ceiling, kneecaps facing up to the sky. And we're trying to bring a sense of reverence into this amazement even that your body can do this position, just as it is today. Okay, and then we'll come upright again. Keep the sitting bones, the pelvis, the legs grounded. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, gentle twist. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, gentle twist. And we'll go to each side for two more breaths. There's the most beautiful perfume out here. I don't know what flower just came to my attention, but it's helping to inspire gratitude as I bow in reverence to the wonder of nature. And then last movement, the side bending. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gently to each side two more times. This is more of a breathing practice that your body comes with you Breath is life, and we are practicing today conscious gratitude for life. Let's go back to side one and hold. Cradle the head. Relax tongue and jaw. Let the weight of your head sink to the side. One more breath. Inhale up, and we'll exhale just to neutralize. And then inhale, going to side two. Do your best to really relax the weight of the head into your hands, so the neck and the throat. Get that clear messaging. Release that tension. Let go of that efforting. One more breath. And then coming back up. We're going to come into a little bit of full body movement now. So take one leg, bring it back forward. Take the other leg, bring it back forward. Bend your knees. And then come to standing the best way you can. If you can do it with no hands, that means we're kind of getting into our, our yoga strength. I'm going to use a blanket to cushion my knees here. Uh, 
because uh, I'm going to have the weight on my knee a little bit on the ground and I like that cushioning so it's up to you. I come to the top of your mat and we'll get ready to move a little bit. So let's bring the hands together at the heart and maybe bow the chin slightly towards the chest just so that we can move really get that sense of gratitude. As you stand in mountain pose, feel all the work that we've been doing to loosen up the pelvis and the low back and feel the work that we've been doing to activate the energy of the lower spine and pelvis. And let that flow naturally right between the pelvic floor and the crown of the head. So all that side bending and twisting and work that we did to distribute the energy, feel that coming through the heart. Bow the chin gently towards the chest, soften the jaw, soften the tongue. Don't let the neck be a jam, uh, a traffic jam for that energy. And feel very alive if you can in this moment. And then we'll inhale, we'll lift up towards the sky, heart comes up. Exhale, soften the knees and flow towards the earth. Inhale, bring the hands to the thighs, lift your chest forward. Exhale, bring your right leg back into a lunge. And this time the, the knee stays up in this lunge, so we're not dropping the knee. We're going to come to a little bit of a funky transition here. So we're going to take the right leg back, but I'm going to walk, lift my left foot, walk back, walk back, so that I'm balanced just on the right foot. And the knee can stay bent. And from here, we'll play throughout our little flow here. We'll play with lifting the hands up off the ground. Just a couple times. Maybe hands come to the heart. And if you do find something like a warrior three, really work on extending and lengthening the spine. I'm going to walk the hands back. I have to turn my notes over <laughs> to the front of the mat and come into plank pose. Now, if you need to drop the left foot, of course, we're gonna do that. But what if we try to bring that left knee up to touch the left elbow? And then what if we lift it back and brought that leg right up in a three-legged dog? And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring the left knee to the ground Straighten out the right leg and bring the right leg to the floor. Sorry for my back here. It's just the way it worked out, I guess, this morning. So my right leg is straight. My left knee's on the ground. My left hand's on the ground. And I open up to the side of the mat. One option might be to lift the right leg. And then, big breath in. Lift right up. Lift up that left leg arm and come into gate pose. And this side bending should feel pretty obvious after all the work you've done. The inhale, lift up. Exhale, take your hands to the, to the uh, mat. And we're going to lift up the left leg. As you exhale, bring the left foot forward into lunge. Sorry, I'm going to switch around. This is silly. <laughs> left foot forward into lunge. Turn the back foot. Inhale up into warrior two. There's a lot of transitioning, a lot of movements. We'll go through this a couple times and it should get a little smoother. From warrior two, take a deep breath in and let go. Feel all the energy that you've worked on distributing through the pelvis, moving through your whole body. <laughs> Bye, Robin. <laughs> and then when you inhale, come into your sun warrior. And exhale, come into side angle pose. Inhale into sun warrior. And exhale into side angle pose. Let's take that one more time. And then inhale up into the warrior two. And 
And when you're ready, we'll inhale again. Step the right foot up. Have a half lift. Lift. Exhale, bow to the earth. And inhale, lift all the way to the sky. Heart lifts in gratitude. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just take a pause and breathe there. Okay. Now this would make sense for me to do this end of the back. <laughs> we'll do the same flow, but we'll lead with the other leg. So finding mountain pose, hands at the heart, chin delicately angled towards the chest. Breathe. Breathe into your whole body. This is a breathing practice and the body just gets to come along for the ride. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, find your place right in between. And then exhale, step the left leg back into lunge. So this is a, a high lunge at the moment. And then we go into that crazy transition, walking the hands back, lifting the right leg, and kind of plain here at the back of your mat. You may want to try lifting your hands, bringing them to the heart, and finding a warrior three. If you do find warrior three, inhale, really extend the spine. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to the ground, walk forward. You can keep the right leg up if you want to. Inhale here, exhale, draw the right knee up, up, up into the elbow. And as you inhale, push back into down dog, lifting the right leg. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that right knee to the ground, stretch out the left leg and bring the whole foot to the floor. Adjust the right hand so it's underneath your shoulder and open up into a version of side plank. You can also float that left leg to create a balancing kneeling half moon. So lots of different options to really express your gratitude today. And then with a big breath in, we're gonna lift up and come into gate pose as we exhale. So left arm down the leg a little bit, side bending again, breathing in and out along the right side of the body. Inhale, let's lift up. Take the hands back to the front of the mat and we'll step the right foot forward, spinning the left foot down and coming into warrior two. Take a deep breath in and out, settling into your pose. Feeling your legs, your arms, the crown of the head all reaching out into the environment around you to express your gratitude. As you inhale, let's do a sun warrior. Exhale, leaning forward to side angle pose. Back and forth for three breaths in total. And then inhaling back up to warrior two and exhaling, stepping the back foot up to the front foot, finding your half lift when you inhale. Exhale. And inhale all the way up and hands to the heart. Pausing here. Noticing how your Breathing practice, where you get to move at the same time, is bringing that heart energy, that energy of gratitude through the entire spine and body. Let's flow. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, connect to the earth. Inhale, fully inhabit your place here. 
And then exhale, take the right leg back. As you inhale, begin to lift the left foot, walk your hands back. And we begin to play towards warrior three. If warrior three comes this time for you, extend the spine as you inhale, and then exhale, take the hands back to the mat, walk up in the mat, and draw the left knee right up into the elbow. Inhale, push back, lift the left leg. Exhale, bring the left knee down, drop it to the ground, extend the right leg out, and open into side plank or take a different variation. After you've inhabited this pose for a breath or two, we're coming up into gate pose. So inhale, lift up strongly, bring up the left arm, and side bend. Breathe into the right ribs. Inhale, lift up from gate pose. Exhale, take your hands to the mat. We're stepping the left foot forward, turning the right foot down, and finding our warrior pose. Stay in warrior two for a nice deep breath in and out, relaxing the shoulders, softening the expression of the face. Bring all that softness in your neck as you inhale to sun warrior, Exhale to side angle. Two more breaths like that. Enjoying the freedom through the upper body and allowing yourself to just dance through this morning practice. And then as you inhale, come up into warrior two, hold there for a full breath. On your next exhale, step the back leg forward. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way to the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart. Finding your mountain pose. Sometimes we call this sacred mountain pose with the hands in a prayerful position. And feeling the energy coursing through your body, feeling life in every single cell of your body and knowing that that is a gift. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in what is not working in our lives, we forget about what the beauty is all about. And we forget that this beauty that you're experiencing right now is not necessarily tied to your physical body. This is the energy of life that transcends the physical body, it lives beyond it. Let's do one last flow. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, soften and forward, fold to the earth. Inhale, find your strength, your place in between. And as you exhale, drop the left leg back into lunge. Inhale, move your hands back, lift the right leg, maybe finding your warrior three, playing back and forth if you're still looking for it. It's all fun. Taking one last inhale, extending the spine as long as you can. And as you exhale, walking the hands forward into plank. You might keep the right leg lifted here. And then you can bring the right knee forward as you exhale to the, the elbow. And inhale, take the right leg up into your three-legged dog. Come forward, opening up into our side plank with a variation perhaps. And then moving into our siding, our gate pose, sorry. Side angles coming up. Big breath into the right side. 
Inhale up, bring the hands around to the mat. We're gonna step the right foot forward, pivot on the left and come up into our warrior two. We'll settle into our last warrior two of the practice. And then we can inhale into Sun Warrior, exhale, swing to the other side in our side angle pose. Two more breaths like that, taking your time, letting the breath be the focus and the movement is fitting into the breath. It's adjusting to the breath. It's enveloped by the breath. Inhale into our warrior two, stay there for a full breath. Feeling your aliveness. And on your next inhale, stepping this leg forward and finding your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Bowing the head. Chin down. Delicately angled to the heart. As you experience being alive in this moment. One last time, inhale. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to adjust my blanket so it's lengthwise on my mat. I don't know if you're on a hard surface, you want to do that too, just so it'll cushion your spine when we get there. So from sacred mountain pose, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, soften and melt towards the earth. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground, walk your legs back, and fold your entire body to the ground. You can bring your hands together to create a little cushion for your forehead. And if you just didn't get that blanket in place and you're deciding, ooh, it would have been better to have a blanket, <laughs> just uh, go ahead and grab that. Let's take a moment to rest. It's been very busy this morning. What you might want to do is bring your legs so that they're parallel with one another. And do a little internal rotation with your thigh bones, which means the outside seams of your yoga pants go closer to the ground while the inner thighs roll up to the sky. You might find that creates a little bit more space across your low back. If it's easier to turn your head to one side, then of course you could do that. And if you're terribly uncomfortable lying on your belly, you're welcome to roll over on your back because that's where we're going next. But staying on your belly if possible, For me, this is a position I sometimes sleep on my belly, although it's not the best thing for you to do. <clears throat> but it's a position where I feel the embrace of the earth even more intimately. And maybe what you'd like to do is start to pay even more intense uh, awareness to the breath in that you're breathing rhythmically and with your full lung capacity. So taking an inhale and feeling the breath come in into the, into the body, feeling very full at the top of the inhale and then exhaling and letting that breath leave patiently and confidently until there's really nothing left to expel. And going into what we call samavriti which means even wave. 
So the inhale is the same length as the exhale. Now, if you do have your hands under your forehead, your hands will be supporting where we often think of the third eye region, the eye of inner sight and intuition. So letting your forehead, maybe if you can, rest on your hands so that the third eye has some physical touch. And when you're breathing in that sama vritti rhythm, feel the breath moving, the energy of the breath moving to the third eye region. You may notice that there are some you know, images that come to you, colors, or maybe not. Maybe it's blank. It doesn't really matter. But having a sense that the breath is moving through that area in the body. We'll just take a few more breaths here. Samavriti, breathing in and out of the nose, full, balanced inhales to exhales with an emphasis or a focus on the third eye region. And then we can release that when you're ready and slowly roll over to your back. Just roll right over. And if you have that blanket to cushion you, it should be the whole length of your spine from the base of your skull all the way to your sacrum. Bend your knees, stand your feet on the floor. And then when you're ready, you can lift one foot and then the other. So the knees come a little closer into your body, but not too close. Pick your hands onto your knees. And we'll work again with some breathing here in simple knee to chest pose. So we're going to work towards extending the exhales for a bit. So inhale, maybe count to four or five in your own mind. And as you exhale, slowly gather the knees closer, but try to breathe out longer than you breathed in. So maybe go to six, seven, even eight counts on the out, out breath. Do about four or five more breaths like that, extending the exhales. Beautiful, exactly like that, yeah. And on these last two breaths, extend the exhales another count or two if you can. And if there's any other movement that you need, of course, take it. Otherwise, let's move to Shavasana. Taking time to make sure you're warm enough and that you have all the supports you need from underneath. And then relaxing the weight of your body to the earth on purpose. Feeling grateful that you have this safe, solid place to drop your bones. We may spend a lot of mental energy thinking about redecorating our kitchens or you know buying these new things but really think about how lucky we are in this moment to have this safe solid place to rest our bones
and on purpose, relax the weight of your bones into the safety and into the solidity. Relaxing your feet, relaxing your legs, relaxing that hardworking pelvis, relaxing the spine, relaxing the shoulders and the arms and the hands into the solidity and safety of the earth. And especially relax the weight of the head. We worked in practice on softening through the neck and the throat so that there would not be that traffic jam there that often occurs for us. So relaxing on purpose into the safety and the solidity of the earth beneath you. And in this sacred space you created through practice today, in the sanctuary that you are currently resting in, see if it's possible to just allow your life to unfold exactly as it is in this moment. So as you open awareness to your whole experience, you may notice there are physical issues present for you in this moment. Do the best you can to allow if it's discomfort. Offering softening, offering the safety and solidity of the earth if that helps. Offering the kind and healing attention of the breath that helps, but basically not trying to fix anything or organize anything in your body, just accepting what is there. And then taking this same kindly attitude towards other aspects of your experience. You may notice that there are emotions present this morning. thoughts, seeing if you can allow those things to be there in the sanctuary that you've created through your practice, softening around them, neither pushing them away or clinging to them, but just experiencing life as it is in this moment. So that basically, as you practice Shavasana today in practice, your radiant sensation, you don't really have a name or a job or you know blonde hair or brunette hair. You are a radiant sensation, life itself pulsing here, even though we're in stillness as we practice Shavasana. And then behind your closed eyes, visualize some of those objects that you gathered around you to create a feeling of gratitude this morning. We mentioned about having a rock from the cottage or a picture of a loved one. Whatever it was in your space that you brought in to create sacred space, a feeling of gratitude, visualize those objects now in your own mind's eye. And while you're holding that picture in your mind's eye, open up to your body as that field of radiant sensation and notice where you're feeling the images of these gratitude inspiring objects. And wherever you feel that physical sensation, can you focus in on it on purpose? Feel the actual pulsing energy of your thoughts, of those images, of your emotions, and allow that to be labeled gratitude today. 
let this energy spread out from where you originally sensed it so it starts to get larger. It oozes out from its original boundaries and gratitude is expanding. It's like your legs and your arms are hollow tubes and the gratitude can break out and ooze all the way down to your feet, to the soles, your feet, and all the way to the palms. And the gratitude can move freely through the hollow channel of your neck and throat, bathing the brain in that soft, grateful energy. And work with this if you can, recharging the energy anytime you get distracted by remembering your objects of gratitude in your practice space. Keep working with this energy until it's, you might sense that every cell in your body is pulsing and dancing with the energy of gratitude. Through our practices today, we have deliberately cultivated this, despite all the different things that might be going on in our lives that are upsetting or restrictive or fear-inducing. Today, we've deliberately found the solidity and the safety of the earth. We've brought that energy throughout our spine, softened through the neck and the throat, where we so frequently damn this energy and allowing the entire body on purpose to pulse with gratitude for life and breath. Let's just rest here for a few seconds more. And if you need a little bit more time to continue with this work, you can stay right in Shavasana. But if you have other places to go and do today, begin to wiggle toes and fingers, but be very gentle with your physical body and make your way back up to that original seat that we shared at the beginning of class. When you come upright, you might want to bring the hands together once again at the heart in a prayerful gesture. And bow the chin gently towards the heart. Softening the jaw and the tongue muscles so the neck stays as open and free as you can make it. Let's close our formal practice by sharing that sacred sound of OM again. I'm inhaling now. Oh. Namaste.